through college, the stuff I was making, I was always saying, could I show this in my hometown? If the answer was no, I'd probably bin it. We are Clorne, which is in, in the, the southwest of Ireland, in the southwest of Kerry, like we're out in the periphery. Between Clarny and Carcevine, and Clarny is a huge tourist area. So you get, in, you get on a tourist bus, you travel 20 minutes out the road, you're not going to stop. So people just keep fucking passing through. It got hit fucking pretty bad. I mean, you, you can walk around Clorgan in 2013, and I think we counted something like 47 buildings within the town that were vacant. All you have to do in Clorgan is just get people to stop, and they fall in love with the place. Just, uh, just to meet the people and the locals, and they just connect. Just for one weekend, let's just fucking turn these spaces that are vacant, lovely spaces, and that are vacant, let's turn them into centres of just creativity and expression. Like, you know, that's, that's all we wanted, like. I can still walk into galleries and get fucking intimidated, like, how long do I spend looking at a piece, or can I move now, can I move on to the next one? So I don't know what it's like for the ordinary person. I don't think the ordinary person fucking goes to Dublin, goes to visit galleries. Do you know what I mean? They don't, like. They'd, you'd walk past, you go do something else. I think, I think it's lost its way a little bit, you know. It should be for people and about people, but it's just gone, just got so up its own hole, like, you know what I mean? So I think Cavis is a bit of a shake-up. I think, I think it is, <laughs> I could be wrong, you know. It really was like a eureka moment, man. You know, I was driving through town one day and just spotted, what building did I spot now? The cinema, the cinema in the square, I spotted and said, that'd be an amazing gallery. And it kind of just grew from there, really. You say, look, can we go in to have a look at your building? And it's almost like they're talking about a family member, like, you know, they're saying, oh, look, I was, I was born upstairs here. And they just give you the history and you connect with the building. It's like someone's got the keys to their house and they're saying, there you go, off you go. So th there is that level of trust there. We just come up with these crazy ideas and people just say, they give you everything, just say, go with it. We, we you know, we, we buy into what you're doing, you know? We set up this kind of street entertainment kind of thing and one of the things was a fiberglass horse, like a life-size fiberglass horse. And I met a guy, he was on his way to the bank and I met him the following day, he said, well, Michael Hearn. He said, I was on my way to the bank, it wasn't going to be a pleasant meeting, but for 38 seconds when I saw your display on the street, he said, I forgot about fucking everything. Like, that's what art is, man. Just giving them that moment of just escape, you know. Um, just to get away from the humdrum of everyday life, maybe they're going through troubles here, or hardship there. I, even my own work would be kind of, I, I tend to lean kind of towards humour, like, you know, just to see people just with a smile on their face, like, going, that's crazy. Are all fucking small towns like this? I've met a couple of people recently, they said, you know, they're, they're not all like this, so you'd like to think, your own place is something special but this is a funny little town like just everybody is bought into it. they're so supportive and they're great people like great people we have three four hundred people coming through the galleries for the weekend they'll point stuff out you've never even contemplated about your own artwork you know one minute you're, you're you've an eight-year-old coming up to you going what the fuck is that and you actually have to one understand your own art then you got to regurgitate it so an eight-year-old understands, next thing you've, you know, you've a couple coming in, a middle-aged couple coming in, asking you the same questions, you know, and it forces you into, sometimes maybe an uncomfortable situation where you do have to question yourself and what you're doing, and then feed that out to your view in public, like. We're slowly kind of creating a very knowledgeable local audience, you know, where they're now beginning, they were there last year, and they now have opinions on art, like, you know what I mean? You're like going, oh, shit, man. You know, they'll actually say, like, you know, I like that piece or I don't like that piece. So I think it's about building that audience and building that local audience, you know. My brother actually showed this year as well. We are showing together. And he said it was the first time that he can remember that he's actually taught us something and next thing he came into existence. There's something kind of reassuring that, or something nice about the fact that you, you know, you, you, you have an idea and it just becomes a reality, like, you know. And that's not just for me. I hope other people leave with that as well. It's, it's all right to dream, like, you know. I mean, fuck it, like, you know. <laughs>